The population of hazel dormice in Britain has declined by 51% since 2000. Dormice are already extinct in 17 countries across England. The real danger to dormice is during their hibernation period, during which they can hibernate for up to seven months. Well, I'm joined now by one of the leading dormouse breeders in the UK, Karen Toller, dormice keeper at Wildwood Trust. And with you there, Karen, is a little dormouse. Uh, Sid, hello to you both. 51% <laughs> decline in hazel dormice since the millennium. Why is it happening, Karen? It's down to um, habitat loss, uh, fragmentation and climate change. You've got Sid there, I think, in your hands, Karen. Can we get a, a look at him? Yeah. yeah, he's just had a feed. So he's a bit sleepy still. I'll just get him out and warm him up. Oops, come on, Sid. Um, yes. So you, you, you said he's just had a feed, and we can see your tube feeding Sid at yeah. the moment. Yeah, sorry. Um, How often well... are you doing that, Karen? Um, it was every two hours when we first got him. So that's throughout um, the night as well? Throughout the night, yes, having to get up a couple of times during the night to give him a feed, just as you would a baby. Um, he was he was very tiny, um, and so it, it, was, it was like critical care, really, to make sure he survived. Where, where did you find him, Karen? He was found um, in a nest box during some monitoring and he had been abandoned by his mother, no sign of her, and his, uh, two, of, two of his siblings were still alive and one was already dead. But um, unfortunately, it's only Sid, well, fortunately for Sid, he's the only one that did survive. He did lose his other two siblings. And, and is that a familiar story that you're seeing, a pattern that you're starting to see more and more, Karen? Yes, uh, certainly this time of year um, with climate change, um, the unpredictability of the weather, uh, the dormice are really sensitive to these sort of issues. Um, so um, it affects their food um, supplies. So if the food's not there, they will starve. And if they've got a litter of young, um, they will starve as well. What will happen to Sid and others that are rescued like him, Karen, in the long term? Well, here we'll look after him and he will go into our breeding programme. And uh, so we reintroduce dormice into the wild where they were once extinct. And uh, so Sid and others like him will be part of that programme. Are dormice heading towards extinction? And, and if so, how long, Karen? Um, it's, they are vulnerable to extinction. Um, it's hard to say how long, um, but it is critical that we look after them and get them back out into their habitats. Uh, they're very good, important bioindicators and flagship species. So wherever they are, it means that the habitat's good and plenty of other species will be there as well. Karen Toller, thanks very much indeed. Thank you to Karen Thank and Sid. You.